Hello everybody, I'm Dupree and welcome to another video. So in this video I thought I would show you guys how to download past broadcasts from twitch.tv. I was looking around on the internet for a way to do this but I didn't found one. So I decided to take a look at it myself and I looked around at Twitch. So what you want to do is go to past broadcasts and bring up the live stream, the whatever live stream you want to download. And you let it load here. So let it start buffering. You see it's buffering now. Now you pause that or whatever and uh, you either click F12 or you can do it like this. You can right click and show um, um, the bottom option which is in English what, what is it? Um, examine component I think it is. So you do that and then you go to network and when you're at network here you want to refresh the page get that to buffer again and start loading now you want to go uh, go click that on size and uh, sort it by size and you see it's buffering now so you can pause that or whatever and you go to the bottom here until you see you see here the most active item here is this file right here because it's buffering all the way and um, these items just loaded up and stopped, lo stopped loading. So this is the most active item on the website right now. So what you want to do is you, you want to right click that and click copy link address and you want to paste that into a new, a new, uh, a new uh, page and then you will get this file here and this this is the first 30 minutes of the um, of the live stream so I will show you that by going here this is the first 30 minutes is working this is the live stream yeah having problems okay um so that's the first 30 minutes of the live stream now to get the other part of the live stream, if the live stream is longer than 30 minutes, if it's not longer than 30 minutes, then that's all you want. That's the that's the only file. But if it's longer than 30 minutes, like this one, this is 54 minutes. Now you want to go somewhere right before the 30 minute mark on the live stream. And let it buffer. And let it go past the 30 minutes. Now you see it's it's buffering now. Uh, you see it's it has buffered past the 30 minutes, and now another file is active. You see here this file is active, so you want to copy the link of that address, paste it into a new page, and it will load. Well, load, load. load. It's still loading and there you have it. Now this file is a little smaller than the last file because it's only 24 and a half minutes. So that's the other half and you will see that from over here, this is part 2. See it's 24 and a half minutes. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have a live stream longer than, let's say, an hour, you want to do the same thing as you did here to get the other file. You want to go exactly before the one hour mark. So let's say 29.57, if you want to get the second file. And you let it, you let it, um, you let it buffer past the mark, the one hour mark, and then you see, will see another file is more active, and then you download that. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you, I, I hope it helped you. And um, now you're you're gonna be able to watch the live stream uh, offline. It will be on your computer. You can watch it anytime, anywhere. I hope you it helped you guys. So if you did, leave a comment and leave a like. And I will see you guys in the next video.